show you a quick studio tour here. I have my drying table for all my pots that didn't quite make it. Uh, once they are bone dry, I'll put them in that trash can here. Let's see, for slaking, once they it's about halfway full, I'll add water to that and hit it with a power mixer. Pretty straightforward. Let's recycle clay right here. Wedging table. I use these round bats to wedge on because they can actually, uh, you know, I have several of them around the studio. They're good for, actually I can throw on them, you know, put them on the wheel. Some clay under here. Clay storage. Built this table so I could utilize the space that I have. You know, many potters, especially garage potters, you know, don't have a lot of space. So if you do any kind of production, Here's my wheel. It's a homemade splash pan so I can put in a long day and not have to keep changing trimmings and you know my slop. Skip a two by fours I use for my tools. Some tumblers. Just threw those just now. This is a girl like porcelain. Translucent. Some there need to be modestly trimmed just on the side, you know. I throw these with flat bottom, fairly thin, so I don't have to do much trimming at all. Just I clean up the edges a little and that's really about it for those. Pot storage up there. Some pitchers, casserole, bowls. I'm pretty random when I throw it. <laughs> Probably could have a little bit more order to when I when I work on the wheel. I'm starting to do that now. You know, I'll maybe throw pitchers for a week, then tumblers, and you know, it's not as random as I used to be. My TV. It's a bit of a vice, I know, in the studio, but hey, what are you gonna do? Electric heater which doesn't work too well. Some general storage here in the middle kind of divides the studio from the clay side over here. Let's see if I can get a wide view. This is the clay side. Then over here we have general storage and then it goes over here to the glazing side. I have some buckets some mugs, handled mugs that have been glazed and are awaiting an accent glaze, which will be like a drippy. These are going to be a blue glaze, although you can't tell now until they're fired. This is one of my signature, signature horned vessels here. If you go to my website, you can see some examples of those. I've been doing those for years. Oh, what else here? What else? What else? More general storage. Got my gram scale. And of course, a kiln. More storage glaze. And I'll show you my favorite tool in the whole shop. Where is it here? My sponge mop. <laughs> this thing is a savior. If you don't have one of these, you should get one. Because uh, before I would use a traditional mop to clean, or you know, having a a garage, see the garage door there, I could you know, in the springtime, open up the doors and hose it out, but that makes for being a bad neighbor, you know, hosing out clay into the street, and people, nobody likes that, so. Um, never had any complaints, you know, I do a pretty good job of mopping it up first before I hose it out, but this thing is great. I mean, it picks up everything, and, you know, I can just stick it in my bucket there and, you know, recycle it however I see fit, so. 
that's it. That's my studio. Uh, hope you enjoyed.